In today's video, I'll be reviewing the New Jersey Net Hardwood Classic colorway of the Nike Air Force One and the Nike Blazer Mid. And obviously these are two different shoes, but the colorway on it is very similar. So I'll be comparing the two just so you can decide whether you want the Air Force One version or the Blazer Mid version. Let's get right into the review, starting with the boxes that each shoes come with. So here's the box that the Blazers come in, just a regular orange Nike box. And then it does say Nike with a white swoosh. And moving on to the tag, it says Blazer Mid 77 Vintage. And the colorway on this is Pacific Blue and University Red. And these retail for $110 and I have a size seven men's. And here's the box that the Air Force is coming, just a regular Air Force One box. It does say Nike Air and then Air Force One. And then here's the tag for this shoe, it says, Air Force One 2007 and then the colorway on this one is white, white and then Pacific Blue and then these retail for $120 and this is also a men's size 7. So that sums it up for both boxes. Now let's get on to the shoes themselves. Starting with the outsoles of both the shoes. On the left the Blazers have a Pacific Blue solid color rubber sole and then on the left the Air Forces have a translucent blue sole. So if you don't like translucent soles definitely don't get the Air Forces and just get the Blazers because eventually the Air Force One sole will yellow just like most translucent rubbers do. So just make sure you keep that in mind before buying them. Both shoes do have a white outsole. The only difference is on the Air Forces, it does say Air, and then it also has that line in that Pacific blue color. Both uppers do have that blue and white print, and it's just executed a little bit differently. And if you don't know what that print's from, it's from an NBA uniform from the 1990 season for the New Jersey Nets. I'll flash a picture up of those uniforms in case you didn't know what they're from. The toe boxes for each of the shoes do have that blue and white print, and then the toe caps are different on the Blazers. It's that Pacific blue color. And then on the Air Forces, it's in that white leather a majority of the upper on the blazers is in that blue and white print and then on the air forces it's mostly white with just some panels that are that blue and white print so depending on what you want would be which shoe i would recommend if you want something that's a little more loud definitely get the blazers since that blue and white prints all over the shoe and then if you want something a little more subtle definitely go with the air forces just because they don't put as much of the print on there as they did on the blazers the swooshes of each of the shoe are also different on the blazers it's just an all red swoosh and leather and then on the air forces it's a white swoosh but it does have red outlining on it and i think it's a really nice touch that they added that red outline and then moving on to the heels of the shoe on the air forces it does have a white heel strip moving up the middle and then on the blazers it is in that pacific blue and then the heel tabs are also different colors on the blazers it's in white and then on the air forces it's in that blue and then they each have red nike branding on the back the eyelets for each of the shoe are also different on the air forces it's in white leather and then on the blazers it's in that blue color and then each come with white laces and the air forces also do have the lace lock that most air force ones come with tongues on the shoe are also different on the Air Forces, it's in that blue color. And then on the Blazers, it's in white. Nike branding on each of the tongue is also different. On the Air Forces, it's in blue with the red swoosh. And then on the Blazers, the Nike is in black, but it also has the red swoosh just like on the Air Forces. The lining on both of the shoes is in white, except on the Blazers, it's made out of leather. And then on the Air Forces, it's made out of that cloth material. Now moving on to the last part of the shoe, which is the insoles. Both of them do have the same color insoles in that same Pacific blue color. And they also both do have red Nike branding on the inside of the insoles as well. So that does wrap up today's review and comparison between the Nike Hardwood Classic Air Force One as well as the Nike Blazer Mid. Comment down below which one you prefer. Personally, I think these will be really popular shoes in the summer just because they're lightly colored and I just think this would have a really good summer and spring vibe to it. So if you want to cop these, definitely cop them now because I can see these going up in price as it starts getting closer to spring. So that is it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe to my channel if you are not already. I'd really appreciate it and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.